Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. The bold and the beautiful's Annika Knoll chats on Hope's feelings for Thomas and her new attitude. Moving on from Liam and being an advocate, 2023 has been the year of Annika Noel on CBS The Bold and the Beautiful. As Hope Logan, she found herself fighting the fire and passion she felt for Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, while trying to figure out where she stands in her marriage to Liam, Scott Clifton. As an actress, Noel has carried much of the story and has been front and center. Something that should be remembered come Emmy time in 2024. In story, ultimately, a trip to Rome, Italy set the stage for life-changing events in Hope's life. After the wildly successful showing of her design collection, Hope for the Future, in collaboration with her ace designer, Thomas Forrester, the do end up in a passionate lip lock, initiated by Hope, in front of the overhang at the world-famous Colosseum. Problem was, Liam happened upon the scene and saw his then-wife's betrayal. Flash forward, Hope has divorced Liam and is moving on with her life seemingly with Thomas, much to the chagrin of most of the entire Forrester and Logan families, given Thomas' twisted past. Yes, they are probably thinking, Baby Beth, and the Hope Mannequin. All that aside, on the surface, Thomas appears a new man fully ready to embrace a relationship with Hope. Meanwhile, Hope has discovered more of her independence, has a fashionable new short crop hairdo, and is no longer ruled by what others think she should do. Michael Fairman TV chatted with Annika to get her thoughts on a myriad of subjects including Is it truly the end for Hope and Lyme? Will the duo known as Thope have a shot at any longevity? What is Hope going to do now that her father Deacon, seen canon, is engaged to none other than evil personified in Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown? And that's just for starters. Read on to see what Annika had to share about it all, and her about beautiful new rescue dog, Huckleberry. Erica has been a loving patriarch throughout Hope's life. One of her mother's biggest champions, Thomas' grandfather and Douglas' great-grandfather. He is someone that has been a guiding force throughout her life, and to lose him would be like losing the cornerstone that built the house of Forrester. It would be a devastating loss to her family. At this point, she can acknowledge that she has feelings for Thomas, and she wants to be with him. However, given his significance in her life, an integral part of hope for the future, as well as Douglas' father, I think she wants to be extremely careful. She has been burned by love and is hesitant to jump in again. She needs to take things slow and thus far. Thomas has respected that. Honestly, this has been a joy. After the heavy baby bet storyline throughout most of 2019, I have so enjoyed this story arc. From being able to travel to Rome for the first time with the cast and crew, playing beats of strength, laughter and love as well as the heavier moments, it has been a story I have embraced and given my all. This actually had more to do with me making changes and starting new chapters, but it also happened to coincide with Hope having major life changes as well. I'd of course had to get permission, contractual obligation and whatnot, and was surprised to get the blessing to go ahead. It's been a big adjustment as I've had long hair my entire adult life, but everyone has been so complimentary and supportive. I think I might keep it for a while. In my eyes, they always were a family from the moment, Hope embraced the role as Douglas' adoptive mother. She takes that responsibility very seriously, and was not going to neglect her duties to that child. Even when it was tough with the blended families, she always tried her best to make it work. I think in order for her to be involved with a man who has done so much to her and her family in the past, she has to truly believe that this man has changed, that he is different. As she has said repeatedly, he has earned her trust and he has done the work, and try as everyone might to ward her away, I think it just makes it all the more appealing. As her father Deacon said, love doesn't always make sense. I think at the moment she has a lot on her plate with Eric's health, Liam's realization, hope for the future, the children, not to mention her love life. I think she's trying to maintain some form of peace and balance, which involves setting a boundary with that. Plus, Sheila has a few screws loose, so I don't think she's about to go punching crazy in the face just to see what happens. I think both can be true at the same time. Past resentments, insecurities, and repeated infidelity over years can lead to the downfall of any strong relationship. Hope's issue is not necessarily Liam's past indiscretions, as she still chooses to forgive him and stay with him during those times. It is the fact that he couldn't offer her the same grace and forgiveness after she had messed up. Over a kiss. And Liam was so quick to run to Steffi in the aftermath. That is what stung. So, she had the divorce papers drawn up. Uckleberry is my gentle angel boy who came into my life thanks to Life Animal Rescue. I had been searching for the right fit, and I saw a video of him, 
and knew we were destined to be. He is 100% Korean village dog, and was rescued from a meat farm there. He is now safe with me, chasing butterflies and playing with Buridome and Kitty. Funny thing is, I would be doing it even if I didn't have this platform. I grew up in theater as much as I did the outdoors. Both have offered me community and a place of belonging. I was bullied as a child, so my places of refuge were the forest in my backyard and the escape I found on the stage. So I will advocate, use my voice, and return the love that the community has shown me all my life. They were a safe haven for me, I will fight for their safety too. As Mama Ru says, we're all born naked, and the rest is drag. I hope she finds clarity for herself, strength in her voice, and love in her heart, with or without a man, and more screen time with her children. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I know it isn't always easy with the way storyline can ebb and flow. But if you understand me, who I am outside of my character, all I stand for, and you still ride with me, then my loves, we are family. And I am grateful for you. No character choice can ever ruin that. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.